this will actually get up on Friday. I am filming it on Friday. I just didn't get around to filming yesterday so I could have it up at the early morning time that I've been uploading my Vlogmas videos. But I can't tell you how much fun I've been having doing Vlogmas. At first when I committed to it, after the excitement had kind of worn off and I realized I had so many videos to film if I was going to do it, uh, I got overwhelmed. But just uploading every day has been so much fun. It makes me really feel a part of the community and it's a nice nightly routine just to edit a video quickly um, and kind of wait for that and read while I'm waiting or watching more Vlogmas videos, which have been very distracting. It's um, such a fun problem to have in December. There is so much booktube and bookstagram fun happening. So I've also been doing some bookstagram challenges uh, like uh, Jingle Book Rock and um, Dickens December, just depending on the day, which ones. And it's been a lot of fun. So without further ado, the books that I am currently reading, uh, this one is The Big Book of Christmas Mysteries. Today, Carolyn and I are supposed to be reading... What is it called? Rumple and the Spirit of Christmas from the Rumple and the Bailey series. Um, I haven't read it yet. I have read a couple out of this now and have enjoyed different ones, different amounts, but I'm definitely happy that I got this because there's such a wealth of material in here. And so slowly but surely each Christmas, I will work my way through this, but I'm enjoying not rushing through it. Next is I'm trying to read a little bit out of this each day. I haven't started it yet though, but winter, a book for the season. Um, so hopefully, you know, I'll make some progress through this. There's some that it's just like a poem. Um, and I went ahead and put my bookmark in here, um, just in the Christmas sacred and spectacular section. And then I'm hoping to save just the rest of it for actual winter because there's so much of an emphasis put on Christmas time that then when January rolls around, you're kind of like, oh, it's still winter and I have nothing to read. So hopefully I'll be, you know, still excited to read that. Then one that I am definitely savoring and not rushing through is Missing Joseph by Elizabeth George. I only just read the first chapter yesterday, but already I just, I'm feeling it. I mean, you just, you feel things very deeply when you read these books and they're, the characters are just so flesh and blood to me and I can't get over how literary these feel. These are not instant gratification reads in the least, and I adore them. So definitely looking forward to carrying on with this, particularly because the side characters in this are really focused on, and I really am interested in them and invested in them. Then I have... The Twelve Clues of Christmas by Reese Bowen. Kate from the novel Nomad is buddy reading this with me. She has already finished hers and I am trying my best to finish. Um, we'll see. Uh, or not we'll see. I'm just thinking out loud here. I only have, oh goodness, where's my bookmark? I think I have 60 pages left, so I'm just going to sit down as soon as I'm done filming this and finish this today. Uh, then going in the theme of books I will be finishing today, hopefully, is Winter House by Ben Gutterson. I started this yesterday and very quickly and easily got through 150 pages um, or 160 pages. So I'm hoping to continue on in this. I'm really enjoying this and it's a middle grade read. It's the reading comes so quickly and easily. And it's just about this mysterious hotel called Winter House and, uh, the main character, Elizabeth, and she makes a friend there. They're going to solve the mystery at Winter House. So it's a lot of fun. And then lastly is A Christmas Carol. This book is just glorious and I mean to make time for it every Christmas and then often I don't. So I'm so pleased the Dickens December ladies are hosting. They've been putting up great supplemental videos on Instagram TV and I only have a uh, stay five. So after the three ghosts have visited, then kind of everything that happens after that as a result. And I've been listening to the Jim Dale narration, which is on YouTube. So that is re it's really, really been a treat. Um, tomorrow, I will be doing a lot of driving in the car just on my own. So I can listen to a ton of Crooked Letter, Crooked Letter by Tom Franklin. Um, and this is like a Southern Gothic mystery. It is really dark. So I'm really enjoying it, but it's very dark. And so it's nice to have some lighter reads on the go in the meantime. And uh, so since it's also very not family friendly to listen to, I'm really enjoying Mr. Dickens and his Carol uh, to be on when uh, Peter is around and 
Um, I don't think I'm going to rush through that one. I think it's really nice to, like I said, have a family friendly audiobook so I can make progress with my reading when he's around. I'm kind of loading and unloading the dishwasher and he's coloring, something like that, uh, where he doesn't care if I'm, you know, doing something else. And then um, I will be picking up, if I finish these three today, then tomorrow I will be picking up um, either, I'm torn between the two, The Silent World of Nicholas Quinn, the next in the Inspector um, Moore series. I just, I haven't actually read a stereotypical detective novel yet for Cloak and Dagger Christmas. So I'm kind of antsy to get to this one. But then I do also really want to get to A Father Before Christmas. And this is the... Um, book. Uh, it's a memoir of a priest. I think it was in the 60s who was in the East End in London. And this is the Christmas one. And uh, it just seems like so much fun. So hopefully, you know, the two of those, although the Father Before Christmas one, um, I'll be reading on my phone on Hoopla. So maybe I could have, I don't know, an extra ebook and then still start that physical book. We'll see. But I want to make some headway on that because I have two buddy reads starting next week, but I won't talk about those here. That is what I've been reading. I hope that you are enjoying Logmas and um, I am hoping to have a week, week one vlog up on Sunday. My Saturday is going to be really busy though, so it might be up Monday. Regardless, I am planning, um, unless some unforeseen circumstance of having a video up every day until Christmas. And I think that's all I had to say. So I will see you guys for another video tomorrow.